<sighs> Obsessed with bed. I love bed. Obsessed with pillows, blankets, and such. <sighs> Literally love sleeping. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Uh, video. I forgot about that. Do you know what I want in life? A giant kitchen with lots of natural light, every utensil and appliance imaginable, and an endless supply of groceries. And also some sweet potato fries. In Japanese, they don't say moon, they say suki, which literally translates to moon. And I think that's how language works. <laughs> I get what they're making fun of. Literally, what is the logic behind naps leaving you with a weird taste in your mouth? I wasn't eating anything when I was asleep. It's the spiders, isn't it? This is my favorite clickbait about hackers picture. Ah, me when I remember my password in my own mind. How do draw good? Fail 14 sketchbook. Bad stuff is good stuff because you make stuff. Do you like sparkle? Draw sparkle. Draw and make your heart do smiley emote. Remember to drink lots of agua or else bedtime. Don't stress, friend, all is well. Your art is hot like potato crisps. Don't let anyone piss on your good mood, amigo. If they do, eat them. Okay. I think the reason I enjoy Ghibli so much is it romanticizes the little things. It makes me want to bake, study, clean the house, garden, and more while listening to happy music and occasionally picking wildflowers and lying in the grass. It helps me find joy in day-to-day -day life and honestly, so important for my mental health. Hayao Miyazaki has said on numerous occasions that he wants children to know that even when the world seems harsh and life is hard, it is always still worth living and there's always something beautiful in it. That mental health boost is intentional, and Miyazaki wants you to believe that you should continue to live, even if it's just for those little things. That's beautiful. Meanwhile, there's another Miyazaki who kind of tries to do the same message, but um, you get a lot of this. Andy put up a lot of segments of you died sequences in Dark Souls. Do it. You bastard! Ah. Uh... No! <laughs> Fucking crap, really! I know approximately zero about Deltarune, but based on the memes I keep seeing, the crocodile one should stop letting the blue one use the GPS. I have no idea what's happening. At this point, I'm too afraid to ask. Nothing like stepping outside while the seasons are changing and suddenly feeling a change in the weather that knocks you back in time by several years. I'm sorry, Professor, I'm gonna have to miss class today because when I walked outside this morning, it was cold and sunny in a very specific way, and suddenly I was struck with a nostalgia for years past so vivid and potent that I had to sit down. Understandable. Have a nice day. Mmm. Honey is a tea sweetener is so superior to sugar. The nectar of the gods and whatnot. When you add honey to tea, it's an ancient civilization's moment. When you add sugar cube to tea, it's a British dude with a white curly wig moment. Does anyone else get what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't have a clue. Andy, do you follow this one? When you lift your napkin up to dab. Remember when Colgate sent out cease and desist letters to 13 year old kids because they were making YouTube poops with one very specific video about a rabbit who teaches children how to keep their teeth clean? Remember when Walrus Guy actually got a lawyer and took it to court and got it proven in a court of law that it was completely legal to make YouTube poops of Dr. Rabbit? He did what? And people say YouTube poop isn't a legitimate art form. Boggle. Told my friend that I hope this burrito was good, whatever that means, because I don't like burritos, and he told me, A good burrito should feel like a mistake. And I feel like that is way more fucking raw than it has any right to be. And of course his name is Josh, too. If I was a video game NPC, I'd be called something like Weird Looking Guy or Unfortunate Beast. And I'd be so hot and lovable and everyone would want me. I oh, yeah, sure do love this feudal era Pokemon game with the wood latch Pokeballs, steamboats, ancient scrolls, and smartphones. Also in before somebody says, um, actually it's the Meiji Restoration. I get it. I'm really into internet discourse, but only pointless and stupid internet discourse. Like how many holes there are on a straw. It's two. Um, no, it's an infinite amount of holes stacked on top of each other. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, <laughs> what do you call the security guards outside Samson shops? <sighs> what?
Guardians of the Galaxy. Get out! Wow, you blocked me just because I disagreed with you? Yes. Yes, exactly. This is a social media site. I come here to look at pictures of birds and shit posts with my friends. This is not a town hall meeting. I'm not your elected official. I do not owe you my energy, my space, or my time. You and I are strangers that use the same website. I can block you for literally any reason, and that's okay. Take a deep breath. Block me too. You'll feel better. Do it. You may think this song sounds bad, but according to music theory, which I've spent 18 years studying at, shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I know noises, idiot. I don't have to study to understand noises. I've known them forever. And those noises right there, not that good. When did we first discover the concept of glasses? Like, was an Egyptian pharaoh walking around in his jewel room and put two crystals to his eye and was like, Yo, Nithotep, come look at this! I love Queen because half their songs are mind-blowing pieces about life and death and love and humanity's inability to live together without destroying ourselves. And the other half are like, I love my bike. Actually, there's a third kind, and it's called I'm Freddie Mercury, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Yeah, that sounds about right. I was out with a bunch of people this weekend, and this guy suddenly went, oh, man, I miss my wife, and went home. Like, I want that. I hope you like repairmen with digestive problems. I'll test the toilet now. I don't, and you shall not.